Hey, what is up guys? Bonnets here today. We're making a beat like Wants and Needs off of Scary Hours 2 album by Drake. So we're gonna make something similar to that. It's not gonna be necessarily a remake, but you know, lots of reverse kind of piano things. It's gonna be super duper fire. Also, you probably noticed new camera angle, new camera lens. I wanna say huge shout out to JM. Thank you so much, dude. Um, I know you're watching this. Let's just get in the beat. All right, so we're gonna need a piano out first because basically the entire beat is a piano going like, but it's a lot of, but it's a lot of like reversing things. I'm just gonna record something super simple in, um, just trying to get an idea down. Ready, here we go. So not necessarily in time. Or what if I move these also in a octave? Or actually, I think we should do mostly triplets. And then let's loop these two. All right, so that sounds sort of good, pretty bad, really. So I'm gonna go back to the original MIDI and I'm gonna choose like a really cool bell sound. That's really cool. Um, let's try the same retrograding thing. That sounds really cool. It's not my melody boss, I'm gonna add like a half time for sure. Like that's, that's a no brainer. Ooh. That's really awesome. <laughs> wow, that sounds great. I'm gonna look through some vital presets for like a low string sounder maybe. Set of some sort. Nice. I'm, I, I'm just going by memory at this point, but I think there's a rim shot in this beat. This movie is fire. kick drum boys watch this listen to smaller notes like ooh, that's crazy that's so fast and then go quick down and then and then let's have another roll here but not quite as fast like pretty pretty typical roll Like an open hat going on here. 
sound selection, but that MIDI is bananas. <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm not overloading this with sounds, but also I wanted to kind of, I wanted to have a kind of life on its own. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be recording my guitar in. It's right here. And I also have a pedal board over there that I'm gonna kinda show you. Um yeah, it'd be kinda cool to show you. I'm not really recording a melody in, I'm just recording a sound in. So first thing first, I was using a um steel slide on my finger, on my pinky finger. I got this recently, I don't really know how to use it but I'm working on it. It sounds pretty cool. On my pedal board, however, basically how pedal boards work is that on one side, you have all of the audio coming in through your guitar, and on the other side, you have all the audio coming out. So basically, if I was going to quickly explain everything, we have a tuner here, just tunes my guitar. We have an overdrive, which is a distortion pedal. We have a volume pedal here, which is like, if you put it here, it's max volume. Here is like a minimum volume. Right here, I have a delay pedal. And then right here is my reverb pedal. And I got this recently. It's, it's It works pretty nicely. So when I was playing that guitar thing in, I had my overdrive turned on and I had my reverb turned on. Round reverb is probably better than this reverb. I really like trash too, and I'd use that for distortion. However, it is really fun just to jam with my guitar pedals. And I like it and I've been building it for the past like three or four years. Anyway, I don't even know why I'm still talking. Let's get back to the beat. I like the kick roll to come into the drop, but I don't like these hi-hats. So what if I go tick, tick, tick. Do you guys use this little arrangement tab in when you're making your beats? I, I mean, I know like a lot of other DAWs, Apple Studio and stuff like that, don't have this little arrangement thing. I think it's really nice. I think it's really, really nice because then you can just kind of lay something out quick and it has something to work off of. So the main thing I love about this beat is that it's super duper repetitive, probably too repetitive if you're just listening to it on its own, but this melody sound, it's very easy to get in your head because it's so repetitive. This beat flew together really, really quickly and very, very nicely. And I hope that you got a good insight on my process. Last week's video was a rod wave type beat and it was absolutely insane. I used an acapella and woo, see you guys later. Woo, 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 woo.